Hello everyone, I hope you're all managing to stay safe and well during this time at home. Um, it's not really a surprise that during this time we may be feeling a bit anxious, maybe a bit stressed, a bit low in mood. It is normal to have a whole mixture of feelings when things are very unknown and at the moment that is the case. So today we're going to look at some tips on managing anxiety, looking at what that might feel like if you are anxious, ways that you can support yourself, where you can go for extra support and looking at a new online counselling service in Birmingham that is free that you may have already seen um, advertised on the school Twitter feeds and such like. So let's have a look at what anxiety is. Okay, anxiety is that feeling of unease, of worry and fear. For some people that can be very mild, for others it's very, very severe. Anyone can feel anxious from time to time. It is kept perfectly normal. Sometimes it may be that our heart races, we feel sweaty, shaky or short of breath. Anxiety can cause changes in our behaviour. Maybe we're a bit snappier than normal. We're overly careful. Maybe we avoid things. But it can really interfere with your daily life and your relationships. Now there are lots of reasons why we might feel anxious during the pandemic. Maybe you're worried about the health of yourself or others. You could be anxious about not knowing when this lockdown will end. Anxious about your schoolwork. Perhaps you're feeling anxious because you can't see your friends or you're not able to do the activities that you normally would. Now that loss of normality and freedom can lead us to feel out of control and that can add to that sense of anxiety. So sometimes when we experience anxiety, it's a physical sensation. That is different for everyone. For some people it's a headache, for others they feel sick in their stomach. If you look at the picture, it will give you some ideas of some of the things that you might feel if you are feeling anxious. Now this emotion sensation wheel is a good tool for looking at the ways that actually you might be feeling or other sensations and the emotion that may be connected with that. So take some time to have a look over an emotion sensation wheel and it can really help you understand the way that you may be feeling at this time or what might be causing you to be reacting in certain ways. Our feelings may seem a bit more up or down than usual. We might feel disconnected from what's going on. Okay, that can make behaviour erratic. Sometimes it can make us feel closed off. Sometimes it just makes us feel like we can't really be bothered to do anything. It is very normal if your normal sleeping and eating habits are a bit out of sync and are disrupted to what they would normally be as well. Now, when you're noticing that you feel a bit anxious or overwhelmed, try and focus on what you can control. Okay, let go of the things that are completely out of your control. Okay, worrying about the things that we can't control will not help us, but concentrating on things that we can control really will help us. Try to develop a daily routine. That will give you a real sense of control and it will help with your anxiety. Now, obviously, we are in the middle of this pandemic. It is very normal to feel anxious at this time. So what can we do about that? Make sure you're getting information from reputable sources like the WHO or the Centre for Diseases Control and Prevention. Okay, Limit your access to the media to prevent yourself feeling overwhelmed. If you are, switch it off. Take some time away from it. Know that it is normal to be concerned. Remind yourself to be in the present moment. Anxiety is often focused on the future, on the what ifs. Look after yourself right now. Stay connected with friends and family. Ask for support if you need it. Now here's the first tip that I'm going to share with you today. When you are feeling particularly anxious, your breathing can feel quick and shallow. This can sometimes lead to something called a panic attack. So deep breathing is a simple technique that's excellent for managing this. So why not give it a try? There's lots of clips on YouTube um, around deep breathing exercises and I'll be posting some later for you as well.
Journaling is also another really good way to manage your anxiety. And also, it's going to be a really good thing to look back on. Actually, what about documenting your day or documenting your week? Not just talking about what you have done or what you haven't done, but think about a good thing that happened today. Something good that you saw someone else do. When did you have fun today? What did you accomplish today? What funny thing happened today? What are you thankful for today? Now this one's important, particularly when we're told to stay at home, get outside, okay? Just going for a quick walk up your street, round your block, go for a run, anything that gets you outside, gets you moving and gives you fresh air is going to really, really boost your mood. Don't forget social distancing guidelines are two metres, however, and only go out to exercise with people that are in your immediate household. If you can't get out or you don't really feel like going out, what about just looking out the window? Watch the world go by, take five minutes, get a drink, chill and just watch. Observe what you can see out your window. Give yourself something to look forward to. Make sure that you have something enjoyable planned that you can either do at the end of the lockdown or maybe it's a catch up with friends during the lockdown. How many of you have tried a Zoom quiz or been on house party or FaceTimed your friend and used those really silly filters that you get because my children personally, they are loving that. Having something positive planned will really raise your spirits. So maybe schedule something for Thursday night or Saturday morning. Fill up the voids with something that's enjoyable for you. It's also important to take time to talk. It's okay to share your concerns with other people that you trust. And if you do, it might actually help them as well. However, if there isn't someone that you can speak to, you're not really too sure. There's lots of different organisations out there that can help and school can help too. I'm going to look at a new Birmingham service called Cuth. Now this has been advertised on the B2A Twitter feed. I know it's been on the house Twitter feed. Um, there's links to it on the school website. Okay, now Cuth is a safe, confidential and anonymous way for you to access emotional well-being and mental health support. It's free for you to use and you don't need to be referred by anyone. However, if you do want to talk to somebody at school, get in touch and we can talk you through getting on there and what else it can offer for you. Don't forget that Pause is still there in Digbiff. They've got a website, you can email them. Lots of good information on the NHS website and Birmingham Mind. There's a whole range of organisations out there who are able to support you. And don't forget, school Twitter feeds will have links to all of these at the end as well. The most important thing to do is keep going. We all need to take good care of ourselves. If you are feeling anxious, maybe even if you're not, try out one of these ideas. Do it every day for at least a few days to see if it helps. If nothing else, it might be quite fun to give something you a try. I really do hope that you're all looking after yourself and that being at home isn't too hard for all of you. In the very beginning, I felt like I was stuck at home and actually it was important for me to remember that I'm not stuck at home, I'm safe at home. And yeah, we might miss going out to see our friends or the day-to-day -day routine of going to school and going to work. But right now, the most important thing we can do is stay at home and look after ourselves. And that's your mental, emotional and physical well-being. If you haven't tried yet, what about checking out one of the Challenge Tuesdays or Fun Fridays? Have you been watching Crucially Crawford? Have you watched the virtual assemblies? Try something new. Take care and stay safe.